Welcome to today's Lightroom tutorial. Today what we're going to be learning is how to edit a photo with a natural looking process in three different ways here in Lightroom. So the first way that we want to go about doing this is pretty simple. We're basically just going to allow Lightroom to determine what's best for our image and at least use that as a starting point. So we want to make sure that we're in the develop tab and then over on the editing panel, all we're going to do is hold in the shift key and then double click our sliders and then Lightroom is going to make adjustments accordingly to kind of balance out this photo and give it what it thinks is a more natural feel. Now, I think Lightroom does a great job at this, at least to give you a base to edit from. And then from here, you could make minor tweaks and adjustments accordingly. So for me, have being at this particular location and scene, this is pretty much exactly what it looked like from what I remember the day that I was there. Maybe I could pull the highlights down just a little bit more. But I think overall, Lightroom did a fantastic job at getting us a nice natural edit that still represents this scene, but doesn't change it so much that it seems fake or unrealistic. Now, the second way we're going to process an image is very similar to what we just did, but we're going to have a little bit more control than just allowing Lightroom to make all the decisions. So we're still going to be in the develop tab, but what we're going to do is take our editing plane and just go ahead and stretch this over. So what this allows us to do is to have a little bit more precision when we're actually moving these sliders and making changes. And the way that we're going to make these changes is we're just simply going to watch our histogram and see where we're at. So in this particular image, it is a little bit bright over here on this side, and it is really dark over here. And we all know that with a human eye, we're going to be able to see a lot more uh, range in, in real life than we are in this image. So all we're doing is editing this image so we have that same dynamic range that the human eye can see. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and pull my highlights down, probably not all the way, but maybe about 85%. And then shadows, I'm going to pull those up to where I just have enough detail here that the image is reminiscent of the day that I was actually there. Now, as far as my whites and blacks, I'm going to hold in my alt or option key. And I'm going to start pulling the whites until I start to see something pop up on the screen. So you can see how those uh, white marks are on the image there. Well, that's from these extra bright highlights up here in the clouds. And that's kind of where we want to stop with the whites. Now, with the black side, we're going to pull to the left and do the same thing. Hold in our alt or option until we see just completely blacked out areas. And I think right here is where that happens. So that kind of just helps us with our contrast and our overall lighting. So you can see that our histogram looks a lot healthier than it did when we started. We could still make a few other adjustments, maybe a, a slight increase to our contrast. I'm going to do an overall exposure pull and just kind of set that right about there. I'll go ahead and pull the shadows down just a tiny bit there. And overall, we have a nice looking image. Now, as far as white balance, probably one of the best ways to do this is to grab your dropper tool. You could find somewhat of a neutral area and click in there. This made it a little bit too cool for the area that I chose, but I can simply drag this back up just slightly. And right about there is what the scene actually looked like in person. I might actually pull these highlight or shadows up just a tiny bit more again. But that was a simple way that we have total control of what's happening, but we still get those natural results that we want. Now, for the last example, what we're actually going to do is go to the library tab and we're going to use this quick develop. Now, this is especially great if you have a batch of images because you could select all of them and make these changes to all of them as a base. And then you could go in and fine tune different uh, areas of the photo that you think need to be fixed. So all I do is click two buttons. I'm going to go to the white balance and I'm going to select automatic. And for tone control, I'm going to also select automatic. Now, if you're shooting in RAW, this is the most ideal because it's going to have the most information for Lightroom to work with. If you're shooting with JPEG, you may have to tweak a little bit more. So that's why I typically recommend not shooting in JPEG if you ever plan to do even tiny little bits of editing. So I think Lightroom did an overall good job here. I do feel like the image is a little bit too warm. So I'm actually just going to pull this slider down ever so slightly. And then I might pull the contrast back just a little and then the shadows, I'm going to pull those up just a tiny bit more, but that's all I had to do. It took me about five seconds to really go in and make some just little fine adjustments based on Lightroom's suggestions. So there you have it. There's three different ways that you can edit photos within Lightroom in a natural setting and means without adding all this flair and effects if that's not what you're into. Hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. And as always, 
be sure to create something new today.